Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Monday evening. Earthmaster here checking in real quick with a large earthquake update around the Philippines here. Got a magnitude 6.4 earthquake hitting around the Philippines right now. Uh, this earthquake uh, looks like it's just showing up there on the Philippine station there. Obviously, it's going to be a very strong signal. Uh, USGS, I don't believe, has picked up on this earthquake yet. I don't see it. Uh, but it is right around the area of the Philippines. I'll stand by for just a second here. Off of the subduction zone, you got the uh, Philippine Trench right here. Now, this earthquake kind of in an odd location here. Again, just prior to the subduction zone. Normally, don't see a whole lot of large earthquake activity like this here. Uh, but we got one coming in right now. Let's see what we got. Looks like they just downgraded that to 6.3. Uh, it's going to bounce around a little bit here. Uh, the source parameters uh, have been coming in from, it looks like, uh, the GFZ, uh, the Spain Agency, Malaysia, France, uh, for the EMSC here. But uh, it, it could bounce around. It could go up or down in terms of the magnitude here. Nothing going on yet from the USGS. But, it again, it's striking out here in kind of an odd location here, probably just prior to the subduction zone. And uh, again, that's awfully weird here to see that large of an earthquake just prior to it. Uh, there we go. Okay, USGS. Uh, let's see, is that USGS or EMSC? Possibly the EMSC just picking up on that right now because I don't see it there on the USGS map yet. Uh, either way, decent size earthquake there. Um, let's see what we got here for any type of tsunami statement. I don't think there is going to be any, but we better double check just to make sure here. They're going to go this map right here. Uh, nothing being picked up here from that uh, earthquake. I get it just struck here a few moments ago. Um, I don't think it's going to be anything larger than a low grade six, but it is in a area where we've been watching a lot of earthquake activity here recently. A lot of movement happening here across the Western Pacific. Nankai trough zone is uh, pretty quiet, but throughout the last uh, oh, few hours or so throughout the day today, movement has been making its way down south here. We had these two earthquakes uh, near Taiwan, plus an earthquake back over here around um, Guam earlier this afternoon. So all that pressurization there building up in a region there along the southwestern edge of the Filipino plate right now. That's going to be this area. Let me show you guys here where we're at. Uh, back over here here's the philippines here's japan uh, got all the arrows pointing in that general direction here a lot of movement a lot of stress up here lately with all those big earthquake swarms around japan throughout the day it's worked its way southward and even some activity here across the guam area now we got that six pointer roughly about here uh, still got to keep an eye there on the nankai trough i still think it's got some potential there for some large uh, earthquake activity uh, USGS <laughs> taking its time here uh, for earthquake reporting. Let me give a double check here on the map, see what we got. There's also another one back over here, looks like six pointer in the Solomon Islands. Could that be correct? Two six pointers here within, uh, within minutes of each other? If that's the case, and the man, the Pacific Plate is no doubt on the move. That was 0158 UTC time. Yeah, so just it looks like a few minutes ago, um, potentially another six pointer down here across the Solomon Islands area. Uh, so let's see what we got going on. Got some big time movement happening right now. Yeah, look at that. Immediately following the earthquake over here across the Philippines. We get a six-pointer right now across Solomon Islands. All that force and pressurization has been migrating southward here, and it looks like it's finally hit some of the regions down south. That's quite unusual to see two large earthquake events like that uh, within a short time of each other. Uh, Got to watch the Pacific Plate now, man. We are on the move. Uh, I don't have any Solomon Island stations up here. Uh, the closest one I have is probably around New Zealand here. I don't see any signs of it being picked up yet. Uh, but let's see here what we got. So 6.3 at 0,158. And uh, technically, uh, interesting there. Look at that. 
zero one fifty eight zero one fifty eight but just about thirty five seconds following that six pointer that's quite rare uh, nothing showing up here from the USGS map well we're catching the uh, Philippines map here or the Philippines earthquake right now they're keeping that earthquake at a 6.3, six miles deep, just off the plate boundary here. That's rather odd, again, in a, in kind of a strange location. Let me show you guys here the historical data. And I say strange because it's well off the plate boundary. We don't normally get large earthquake activity like that away from there and inland uh, from that plate boundary. So as you can see, um, historically, not a whole lot of uh, large events in this area where that six-pointer struck. So something is definitely... Uh, cooking out here um, no confirmed report on that 6.1 down around the Solomon Islands yet let's see here uh, nothing showing up here for testimonies yet source parameters have not yet been reviewed by seismologists sometimes now sometimes we get these phantom earthquakes right and it, it's possible. It could be a 50-50 chance here that this is just a phantom quake, a secondary one. Um, the seismograph stations out here will record uh, a P wave of a nearby large earthquake and, and sometimes malfunction and think that it's an actual big earthquake in the area of that malfunctioning seismograph station. So unconfirmed yet on if this is a secondary a uh, legit earthquake. We know this one just struck, again, 6.3 in the Philippines, east of the Philippines, I should say, in an odd location. And then about 35 seconds later, a 6.1 earthquake comes in here. But there's no, um, there's no testimonies, there's no felt reports of anything coming in there around the Solomon Islands. And again, this data is just coming in from the EMSC and also the GFZ, which is the Germany um, geological agency there and of course these things decide to go offline when there's big earthquake activity happening it's interesting though look at that you guys see that no, that, that six pointer I'm kind of curious once the USGS picks up on it if they show that this is a legit earthquake here then uh, then that is something else two six pointers there within six Within a, a few seconds of each other, uh, spread out a thousand miles apart there. A couple thousand, a few thousand miles there, I should say. But uh, so far, nothing coming in there yet. I don't see any um, reading there on the New Zealand station. Let me see here if I can bring up, uh, what is this? This is Fiji. This is going to be... Oh, come on. Solomon Islands. Let's see if I can get this to work. I don't want to freeze this thing up. And it looks like it did freeze up. Uh, but it should come back here in just a second. For whatever reason, I've been having issues with this program. It's, uh, it's a live seismograph station viewer. And you can tune in to many different stations around the globe. Um, although, it's been a little buggy here recently. So, I'll uh, give that a second to fix itself there uh, but now it got downgraded here to 5.9 regardless if that can, you know stays at a 5.9 or a 6.1 that's still rather interesting there to see another large earthquake uh, almost immediately following that six pointer there across uh, east of the Philippines got uh, definitely some big time movement and now a 4.8 it looks like there across the South America area things are uh, they're happening out here let me tell you things are on the move nothing yet from the USGS on that earthquake around the Solomon Islands there uh, let me see if my Solomon Islands stations got up nope error encountered error encountered getting the data there so that is offline um, again it could be a, a phantom earthquake either way uh, for now 6.3 earthquake Potentially a second large event seconds later, a couple thousands of miles, a few thousand miles away around the Solomon Islands. Uh, and with that southward migration here, I think we need to watch uh, regions in between here, between these two large events for one. Um, 
areas up north, uh, they're taking a little back seat right now in terms of the earthquake activity. Like I said, it was really happening up here in the last couple days. And even this morning, we still had some earthquakes bouncing back and forth here over the Nankai Trough. But um, it looks like the migration, the migration and the pressure down here is uh, definitely working its way south and east here along the plate boundary. Watch these quiet zones down here. Nothing yet, as far as the secondary earthquake. So, uh, we'll cover this and more, folks, in tonight's update video. Uh, if this is just a phantom earthquake, then um, you know, like a false reading, then I will include that here in the update video. But uh, if it's a legit earthquake, again, it's really interesting for sure. Let me just recheck this and see what we got. See, they even went lower with the 5.5. That's that's a crazy downgrade from a 6.1 to 5.5. Nothing coming in there for the testimony, so. And nothing back up here on the USGS. But for sure, one decent sized earthquake. Uh, be on guard out there. Southern California is starting to light up out here, it looks like, on the San Andreas Fault as well in the last hour. We'll cover, the, uh, like I said, we'll cover this and more in tonight's update. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe. Uh, click that like button if you will, and we'll see you guys out here in a couple hours for the uh, Monday night update.